I'm Laurie Lemaire, and I'm a decorative painter and an instructor for Modern Masters. The first step is to apply a skim coat, and this is very similar to filling and patching a hole. There are roughly two trowel angles that I use. A low angle is about a one to two finger width space, and a high angle is about a three to four finger width space. What you want to do is load up your trowel, and using a low angle, light pressure, apply the plaster, and then with a high angle, scrape it off. So it's putting it on a low angle, scraping it off at a high angle. Cover the entire surface and let dry approximately one hour. Step two is called a texture coat. You just want to put a small amount along the edge of the trowel. And you're going to use a low trowel angle, remember the, the two finger width angle. And you're going to skip the trowel across the surface. So you're creating some negative spaces in here. And it's very, very light pressure. And you're going to come back with probably the same angle, um, fairly low, maybe just a little bit higher. But again, very, very light pressure, and you're knocking down any peaks that you're creating. Now make sure you don't have a repeated pattern as well. So you want to cover the entire surface, and uh, that's going to take a little bit longer to dry, probably one to two hours. Step three is the same process as step one. Using light pressure and a low trowel angle, apply the plaster, then using your trowel at a high angle, scrape off the excess plaster. Keep changing the direction of your wrist. Continue to skim coat the entire surface and let this dry about an hour. Polish the surface as soon as the plaster has dried because it will be a little soft and will take the polish with less effort. First sand with 400 grit sandpaper. Sand in a circular manner until you see the plaster beginning to deepen and soften. Now you might find that it looks like the sandpaper is scratching a little bit, but don't worry about that too much because we're going to come back with a 600 grit sandpaper after this and it'll take out any scratches. Wipe the excess dust off with a dry rag or you can use a damp rag, but allow the surface to dry before further polishing it. And now I'm changing to 600 grit sandpaper. Now take your rag. The last step is to take the trowel and you're going to push it down so I have all my pressure on the side of the trowel away from me and rub it pretty vigorously. Now with time, the Venetian plaster will get very durable and it will be washable, just not scrubbable. To achieve a successful finish, there are three things to remember. One, repair any visible imperfections in your surface before you start your work. Two, keep your tools clean and free from any dried product. And three, keep your skim coats and your texture coats relatively thin.